I hope this doesn't get taken out of context. I know. You're not putting that in. <laughs> Actually, yes, you can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> Leave two white girls to discuss hip hop unsupervised. Literally nothing has changed for the cockroach since 1994. Nothing. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tatsun Gonzo. And I'm Giliata. Welcome to This Is Why. We have a new Miss South Africa. And she is black beautiful. again. I don't know why I said that, but it makes me happy, okay? Go the blacks! All right. Shulu Fadzo Musida graduated from the University of Pretoria with a Bachelor of Sciences in Politics, Philosophy, and Economics. Guys, that's PPE. That is literally what we need right now. Shofi Daisi Masudi's parents are said to be so proud of their daughter. Shulu Fadzo expressed excitement in the fact that she knew that people from her home village were watching as she was crowned Miss South Africa just last week. Shoma Josie Mabunzi said she will Gilly, wear the crown with pride Gilly. for the coming year. Shudu Fadzo. Who's that? That's Miss South Africa. Did you even ah. did you even watch Miss South Africa? Uh, truthfully, no. So then what are we doing? What is this? Tats, white people stopped watching Miss South Africa when white people stopped winning Miss South Africa. Two weeks ago, Cristiano Ronaldo's soccer star tested positive for COVID. And this Wednesday, Juventus, his team, are get up to play against Barcelona. Huge match in the UEFA Champions League. The coaching staff, fans, and Ronaldo are said to be... I can't uh, do this. What's wrong, Mel? Uh, you know, I know this is important to millions of people, but I just... I don't really care whether the blue team will beat the red team in the final cup with the, the plates and in the first round with the championships and the knockouts of the leagues or whatever competition it is in real life, never mind during a global pandemic. Okay. I said, do you want me to I can continue the story by no, myself? No, 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 you know what, this is, um, let me continue, I'm a professional. The coaching staff, fans, and Ronaldo himself are confident and hoping he can play the match after testing positive for a second corona test this past Thursday, and, uh, you know, no, I can't. He is due to take a test before the game for final confirmation on his participation. Again, all those who enjoy it, go blue team. His team is white. Well then, go Whites! Speaking of competitions, the US elections are due to take place next week, November 3rd, and the whole world is watching. I'm, I'm worried about them. Can you imagine another four years of Trump? Yes, I can, actually. Do you think he's going to win? I'm not even worried about whether or not Trump is going to win. I'm more worried about the fact that I feel like Americans don't know the country they live in. That's why they were so shocked the first time he won. And you think, by the way, that South Africans know their country. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know South Africans know their country because it's very hard to shock South Africans from a political perspective. We have the least surprised population anywhere in the world. 500 billion went missing and the whole country just turned into a shrug emoji. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to note that 500 billion rand did not go right. missing. We, we love to exaggerate. Okay, so how much do you think went missing? I don't know. I'd say like 100 million. What do you think? I'd say a hundred billion. Okay, so let's just call it somewhere between a hundred million and a hundred billion. Right. We don't even know. We just no, carried we don't. on. And we did just carry on. That's my whole point. We live in a country where we drive past headlines that read, Dogolosh ate my brother. Just as much as we drive past 500 billion when missing, we don't blink because we know the country that we live in. Right. I mean, it would take something really special to shock us. Like, if in the next South African elections, the ANC finally loses its majority to the DA, the EFF, and the Dacha Party. Right. That would be cause for some suspicion. If the Dacha Party won, they would be the most suspicious. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we really won here. I just, I don't, um, I don't trust these elections. I demand a recount. <laughs> it, this is funny because it's so ridiculous. We know that it would never happen. The degree to which Americans were shocked when Trump won tells me the degree to which they don't know the country they live in. Trump is their Dacha party made real. Wait, when you say Americans, what do you mean? Celebrities. I mean celebrities, actually. Because that's who I consume America through. You have all these celebrities who are telling everybody to vote, which is great. Amy Schumer is out there. Vote. LeBron James is out there. Vote. But they're not telling people who to vote for. 
you guys know that racists love laughing and slam dunks, right? So if you're not specific about who to vote for, it tells me that you think that your fans think the same way that you think, which is very dangerous. Right, and that's why you're worried. Exactly. Like, who are you mobilizing? You could be mobilizing an unregistered racist who just happens to love pregnant women telling jokes and dunking on motherfuckers. Now he's activated, it, voting for Trump. It does seem like telling people who to vote for is a critical thing to leave out. It's just scary, man. Celebrities tweeting and Instagramming, it does give us a false sense of security. And that's exactly what got them into this mess in the first place. And that's exactly why they were shocked when Trump won. Yeah, but I mean, like, Trump also has celebrities backing him. Which celebrities? Lots of them. I mean, like... Aren't there? You're making me think. Let me actually check. Let me check. <laughs> Siri. I'm here. Which celebrities support Donald Trump? Literally. No one. Oh wait, here's one. Leonardo DiCaprio. Remember that time he had all those slaves in his dining room? That's Django. But John Voigt, John Voigt is actually someone who's stood up with Trump. Angelina's dad. Yes. Or as I like to refer to him, Brad Pitt's father-in-law. Which, I mean, it is pretty crazy considering his grandchildren are from all the shithole countries. So there were no celebrities on Trump's side last time, and he won. There were celebrities on Hillary's side, and she lost. So the fact that there are loads more celebrities encouraging people to just vote, it feels like it's not enough. I do see that like celebrities will say, I support Biden-Harris, but they never say, vote for Biden. It's almost like a separate thing. Right. I support this candidate, right. but you must just vote for whoever you want to vote for. Like, like, I know there's one, like, for example, if you look at Amy Schumer, yeah, I will vote concert. What's this? Join me and some other incredible performers tonight to support Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and Democrats. It's time to step, step up and build a better future. Sign up now or tune in. That's a free concert. That looks dope. You damn right I'm gonna sign up and show up to this free concert. I hate the blacks, but I love me some good music. Who's performing? <laughs> We've got John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi, fucking love that. Cher. Fucking hate the blacks, but I love Cher. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Dave Matthews band. Fucking South Africa, love South Africa, what they did to the blacks. Love Dave Matthews. The Black Eyed Peas. And I love me some Black Eyed Peas. Delicious. Do you see my point, though? Um, yes, I do. Nobody I is point. saying anything about who to vote for, but racists do love concerts. I, I'm not sure why they do it like that. I think it's because it's seen as unethical to tell people exactly who to vote for. See, now that's the problem. Celebrities are running around not telling people who to vote for because it's unethical. And you can't be ethical with a bully. Exactly. I think we, re we have to rethink that whole Michelle Obama thing. You know, in the last election, she, she had that thing where she said, when they go low, we go high. Right. You know, I think if telling people who to vote for is low, we need to get low. They need to say it. Vote for Biden or Trump will win and we will all die. <laughs> Stop getting high, Michelle. Right. Because at the moment, all we're hearing is vote. And you can't bring a vote to a gunfight. Oof, exactly. Nice. I hope you're wrong. I hope I'm wrong too. But I think Trump's going to win. And this is why. But the concert sure going to be damn good. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot <laughs> wait to go see that Dave Matthews. Love me some Dave Matthews. I love me some Dave. I hate me some blacks. Don't vote for Trump. <laughs>